My name's Andy and welcome to the channel Andy's Tech. Uh, and today we're going to do a video on how to speed up Windows 10 in 10 minutes. Uh, I do this for every PC I build and it just helps the Windows experience. Uh, especially if you've, you've got a, a mechanical hard drive or your, your system's just overloaded and slowed down full of files. Uh, it generally speeds things up quite a lot and makes the experience snappy and more enjoyable. Uh, so first up, this is a new Windows install, uh, a fresh install. Uh, but it will be the same for, for any system. You want to go to Start, Settings, and in the, the top corner we have System. We want to go down to Notifications and Actions. And we want to turn this off and turn all of these off. Next up uh, in this section we go to Power and Sleep. And in the, over here on the right we have Additional Power Settings. And we want to select High Performance. Sometimes this is hidden in show additional plans, so you might have to drop, click that drop down uh, in order to select that. Uh, we then want to close that window and go back up to the top to home. Uh, we then want to go to apps. Now you can uninstall uh, all the apps that come with Microsoft, uh, but generally I just leave them. They don't seem to cause too much fuss or slow things down too much. What we want to do is go down to start up at the bottom and I like to turn everything off startup. You can always start the application when you're in Windows, but having too many of these turned on just really slows the boot time down, uh, especially if you've got loads of uh, game game uh, launcher apps. You know, if you've got Steam, Epic Games, Ubisoft, you know, this can, can take a real hammering on your Windows load time. Uh, next, go back to Home, and we want to go to Privacy. Now in the general tab we want to turn all of these off, speech I leave, inking and typing personalization we want to turn off, diagnostic and feedback you want to make sure required diagnostic data uh, is selected not optional and if you go to the bottom free, uh, feedback frequency should be turned to never. Activity history is your preference, uh, store activity history on this device. Uh, you don't want to, to click that. Uh, so next up, app permissions. Generally I turn notifications off and if we scroll down we go to background apps. Now this I find takes up a lot of system power uh, in the background. We want to turn that off. And app diagnostics, we want to turn that off too. So next up we go back to home and we want to close this window down. Uh, for the next we're going to type performance uh, into the, the search bar and adjust the appearance and performance of windows will appear. You want to click on that and select the adjust best for performance button. Now this will deselect all of these checkboxes. I enable smooth edges of on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons and click apply. We then want to close that down as well. Uh, next up we want to type in the search bar services and select that and if you go to the status here we can arrange it into running in alphabetical order and you want to go down to connected user experiences and telemetry and right click on that and select properties we then want to disable this and click stop and then we want to click apply and OK. Next up we want to go down to distributed link client tracking client and right click on that and click properties. We then want to do the same with that disabling it and stopping it and clicking apply and OK. Next up we want to go into Microsoft Edge or Google or whichever operating system you're using and we want to type in inspector like that. This will then come up with GRC inspector we want to open this website uh, and you'll be greeted with something like this. We then want to download this this is only a tiny application and will take a second. Uh, once that is downloaded we want to show in folder and we can close that down. We then want to drag this out to the desktop and close our downloads folder. Now with this you want to run this as administrator so we want to right click on this and click run as administrator. 
we then want to disable meltdown protection, disable spectra protection and click exit. Now this will only take into effect when you restart uh, Windows and this only works on older Intel CPUs, 6th gen and below. Uh, it will disable the microcodes that Windows introduced in the update. It's a great little app. Uh, it doesn't work on AMD really so you don't need to worry about this if you're on an AMD system. Next up we want to go into the Windows Explorer and this PC and our local C disk. Uh, if you have other disks you may wish to do this with this as well. You want to go into properties and you want to see here where it says allow files on this drive to have its context indexed in addition to file properties. You want to deselect that and you want to click apply. Now this will come up, uh, apply changes to C at subdrive and files. This will then come up with this access denied. You want to click continue as administrator. Uh, it will then come up with this error applying attributes. You want to click ignore all. Now depending on your system, this is a new Windows install. Uh, this might take quite some time to finish, uh, but this is a new install so it won't take long. Uh, but depending on the size of your drives and the files you have on them, it could take quite a while. Uh, you can just leave this running in the background as well, like so. Now when this is done, it will close. Uh, now it will take some time, so just be patient. Uh, you can do other things while it's going on. Uh, but yeah, just be patient and when it's finished, uh, you want to go to tools next to it and you want to go to optimize and defrag uh, if you haven't done this for a while you want to optimize but you want to go to the change settings button uh, now run on schedule and you want to deselect this and you want to change it to monthly uh, and you want to click ok and then you want to close that down and close this box down and close this down and now one last thing and something I forgot to do while we were in settings. So click on the start menu, go back to settings, and you wanna to go to update and security. Now on Windows update, first of all, you wanna check for updates and make sure your system is up to date, uh, as that's generally good practice. Uh, you then wanna pause the updates for seven days, uh, and then if you go to the bottom and go to advanced options, and you wanna turn this off, receive updates for other Microsoft products, and then you want to go down to pause updates. Now we have just paused it for the seven days, uh, but you can pause it for up to a month. So you want to go down here to the very bottom and click February the 10th, which is a month from today, just over a month, and select that. Uh, now that will pause Windows updates for you as well. And uh, generally that's it. So next up you want to go and restart your PC uh, for the inspector and everything else. And uh, yeah, you should you should notice a difference. It should be a lot more snappier booting up to Windows, uh, especially on an old mechanical hard drive. Uh, you should notice Windows uh, apps and stuff opening quicker, programs and stuff like that, and loading times. And uh, yeah, it should speed up your PC as well. Uh, it might even help slightly with S FPS in some games on some lower end systems. Uh, so thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you get some benefit out of it. Uh, please leave a like or a comment down below. I, I reply to all comments and I read all comments as well. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this video and how you found it useful and if it helped you out. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. Uh, I'd really appreciate that and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, God bless, take care and uh, I'll see you soon.